They carried no armament because of the heavy gas load necessary for the 3,000 mile hop to Oahu. Exactly at 0600, the fateful signal was given. And the first wave, 200 fighters, horizontal bombers, torpedo bombers, and dive bombers roared off. The reaction after the bombing of Pearl Harbor was utter hysteria, shock, surprise. Uh, no one was expecting it. And as a result, we were at war with the Axis powers. A viper is a viper no matter where the egg is hatched. And the idea being, if you're Japanese, whether you grew up in America or not, you were going to be loyal to the Japanese traditions, culture, and war effort. And that's, that's how it began. After Franklin Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066 in February 1942, Japanese people started to see signs in their neighborhoods, on telephone poles, on sides of buildings, ordering them to report to assembly centers within a couple of weeks, or they would face arrest. Well, since I was a 10-year-old kid, my parents had their own business in uh, Hollywood, and so uh, I just know that uh, we had to move out of there. And so in uh, my family's case, my parents lost their business 100%. These were American people who happened to be of Japanese ancestry, and they were targeted for that. We got rounded up and sent to the temporary camps, the government called assembly centers. Uh, we went to the Santa Anita horse race track facility, and one thing I can remember, once we got in there, uh, the whole racetrack facility was surrounded by fences. I can still remember a machine gun posted right near the entrance and that machine gun was pointed in. I guess we were bad guys. That's, that's what the machine gun told me. They were called evacuation centers, relocation centers, and the Japanese people who were housed there for up to two to three years were not called prisoners, they were called evacuees. So almost all of the people that got sent to camp just went along with what the government decided to do, even though it was wrong and against the Constitution. Most of the people just said, well, that's the way it is, and so you got to do what the government says. We cannot begin to imagine. I mean, this is like something out of Franz Kafka. No one was ever found to be guilty of any treasonous activity. The racism was just so extraordinary. Well, if there's any kind of message, it's uh, what the government's decision was to send, uh, you know, like about 120,000 of us away just because we look like the enemy. You know, and we did not commit any crimes, and uh, I think it's a known fact after the war has been proven of the hundred plus thousand of us that were sent away, not even one single case of espionage or terrorism or spying was uh, brought against any of the Japanese Americans, not even one. Finally got out of the camps, I still continued to try to be the best American that I could. So uh, I had to put whatever the camp situation was uh, behind me and then just continue on. 